Today's mission is putting another winter patty on the hive because it is still cold. It was 29 degrees this morning, which is almost a record low. And I have, I have not checked this hive since um, St. Patrick's Day. And I'm gonna see if anybody's actually home and giving them more food because there is nothing starting to come out yet. We should have dandelions by now, or not even close. We should have tree flowers, willow, basswood, maple, nothing. So we'll see if anybody's in there. We'll give a little puff of smoke right at the front door of the hive, and then I'll crack the top box and add a little to the top bars. Then I like to close it up and give it a second to settle the bees. pretty subdued nobody flew out really so that's good but what had been a very strong looking cluster a month and two weeks ago now looks very small and there's winter patties in there still that cluster is so small though that if it continues to get cold like this they're not gonna make it I shouldn't even have to have this conversation our overnight lows should be above freezing by now I still have a winter cover on that hive that's been helping and they've got insulation on the top, but I mean, there's only so much winter feeding I can do. That's emergency food for the end of the season. That should have been a month ago. And um, I don't know, are other beekeepers having this issue? Cause this is crap. Uh, I don't know, I'll keep my fingers crossed. I've got bees on order arriving next weekend. So that is, Seven, eight, nine, ten, like 10 days from now. I mean, if the weather breaks, it could be spring in like three days because everything's waiting, but it's just not, it's not looking good. I had a very angry kinglet talking behind me and frankly, I don't know how some of these like uh, insect eating warblers are doing it. It's just amazing and kind of frightening. All right, that's it from the hive. I'll talk to you later.